Hi, welcome back for another lesson. Today's lesson, we're going to be going over the Albert King box and the BB King box. We're going to be in the key of A minor, but this is transposable, so you can play it in any key. So let's get right into it. So our A minor pentatonic, we should all be familiar with. We're going to be starting with our root note on the fifth fret. Our first box, it's going to be our Albert King box. We're going to start with our middle finger on the 9th fret of the G, and then our pointer finger is going to play the 8th fret of the B, ring finger 10th fret of the B, pointer finger 8th fret of the high E, and then ring finger 10th fret of the high E. And that's going to be our little box. On the high E with my ring finger, I like to do full bends, so that means you should have the sound of going up to the 12th fret, and then half bends work as well. Our root note, or our tonic, A note, is going to be the 10th fret of the B. So you'll hear in some Albert King licks resolving there. And then vibrato on that A. And then you can jump right back from this A. This is also an A note. The fifth fret of the high E. Going from a one to a one. So our first note of the scale, our one note, which is A, to this A and then back into your um, minor pentatonic scale. It's a good way to jump right back into your A minor pentatonic. And then also bending up on the B string 10th fret. And then also, to start off a solo or start off a phrase, sliding into that ninth fret on the G, and then going into whatever you want to play. Just starting to slide. I usually start my slide around the fifth fret. Also, just sounds great when you resolve to that A note. Now for our BB box, this is going to be starting with our ring finger, right here on the 11th fret of the G, 10th fret on the B string with our pointer finger, 12th fret with our ring, same thing on the high E, pointer on 10 ring finger on 12. That's going to be referred to as our BB box. The BB box mixes major notes and minor notes, so it has that really sweet sounding um, effect in your solos. So if I'm in A minor, already sounding a little like BB King. So again, that means our root note, our A, 10th fret of the B, so resolving to that, or revolving your phrasing around that sounds really nice. Giving some vibrato to that A note, and then you can jump right back in to this A note right here. 5th fret of the high E. To mix these in into your soloing isn't that hard. 
hard. Right, you can start your phrase in the boxes, or you can slide into them from your minor pentatonic. So if I play a little 1-4-5, so I'll start on the 1. on the one chord, using certain notes out of the Albert King box, and the BB box sounds great, going to the four chord, I think the Albert King box sounds great over the four, stylistic traits of players that you like that inspire many other players that you hear in playing and it just helps you expand your soloing a little bit so you're not stuck in just the minor pentatonic you can break out into those boxes and then working with those limited notes right um helps develop your nuance helps to ven uh, develop your bending And keeps your soloing interesting and hopefully just evolves your playing even more. Well, I hope this was a good little lesson, right? It wasn't that long. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.